In Japan, there was a major shakeup in luxury apparel licensing. In June 2015, Burberry terminated its licensing agreement with Sanyo Shokai, a popular Japanese clothing manufacturer. Sanyo Shokai has been the main distributor of Burberry in Japan due to its expertise in Japanese retailing and strong connections with department stores. This contract has lasted for 45 years. With this decision, Burberry aims to take more control of the brand in order to reposition itself as a high end luxury brand. As Burberry lost its 350 department store concessions, which were operated by Sanyo Shokai, the company now plans to increase. It's、um, the number of its directly run stores from the current 18 to between 30 and 55 over the next three years. Now, this is expected to have drastic effect on Sanyo Shokai. And despite many other brands Sanyo Shokai operates, including Paul Stewart, the company will likely struggle after its loss of the flagship brand, which made up a significant portion of the company total sales. Sanyo Shokai already estimates its year on year sales to drop by 14% in 2015 and 11% in 2016. Sanyo Shokai will aim to recover by focusing on alternative key brands, including Macintosh London. It will likely take a few years for the company to recover. And this can also negatively impact department stores, which has been the main distribution channel for Burberry in Japan. In the recent past, licensing by luxury brands has recorded decline. This is due to the fact that licensing often、uh, causes deterioration of the brand value in the long term.、Um, when companies like Burberry either worry about the,、um, brand delusion or actually see positive opportunities, they often try and take more control from the licensing partner. And as a result, many luxury brands now prohibit licensing. The outlook for luxury market in Japan is promising, given the factors such as the increasing number of tourists visiting Japan, as well as the stronger economic outlook、um, within the domestic markets. In such a favorable situation, there seems little benefit for international luxury brands to engage in licensing business, which will likely hamper the recovery of apparel licensing.